Between three and four years ago, I had experienced several tragedies. Um, my boss passed away unexpectedly in a cliff diving accident. My friend from college was killed by a drunk driver as she was walking across the street. Um, and there was a few others, but it just really started to affect me. And it was just, I was so sick with worry about death and when it would happen and how it would happen and, you know, how life would be different. But then one day, uh, a dear friend of mine and a colleague at Google, he was climbing Mount Everest. And uh, one day I found out that he had died in the Nepal earthquake, uh, which was about three years ago. And I was just like, oh my God, another person, another tragedy, young person dying. And um, so at first I was very angry. I was like, why did you climb Mount Everest? It's so dangerous. You knew that you could die going up there. This was actually even his second attempt. And then all of a sudden I realized as I thought about this guy who was really my adventure idol, he was so such a vibrant person, he was always the life of the party and always had this grand sense of adventure and helping other people and was just a light in the world. I just realized if he hadn't had climbed that mountain or tried climbing that mountain, he wouldn't have lived anyway. All of that fear energy that I had around death just transformed and into this just gratitude for being alive. Um, because although we don't have control over when or how, what we do have control over is how we live until that mystery moment comes. And so we think so often that we have to do these enormous things. We have to skydive. We have to quit our jobs and travel around the world. We have to do these huge things in order to like make, a, make our lives meaningful. When really, it was actually Mother Teresa who said, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. You don't have to experience trauma or have someone die in your life in order to, to have this, this gratitude and urgency to live. There's a way you can do it by, um, by contemplating and, and inviting your mortality into your life in a healthy way. So the deathbed meditation is a way to invite mortality into your life to get the perspective that death offers without having to experience that trauma. But there's also the two second version of the deathbed meditation and that is what I call the deathbed gut check. When you're faced with the decision of what to do in a particular situation, you just take one second and um, it's very important to feel what happens in your body when you do this. But you take a second and you imagine yourself on your deathbed looking back on this decision that you're, you're considering today. And you say, how would I feel if I had taken option A? And you take half a second and you say, how does my gut react to that? And then how would I feel if I had taken option B? Perspective is a hell of a drug. I mean, I think death is the most profound uh, change maker and ability to give us perspective in our life. Yesterday, I had a hair disaster. I had this, all these trials and tribulations. I colored my hair wrong and then I had to fix it and then I had to fix it again. And I was like, oh, I have this video tomorrow. I can't believe this is happening. And then I just had this realization where I was like, I'm going to do an interview about having perspective from the fact that I could die at any time. Who gives a crap about my hair? When I'm on my deathbed, I'm gonna remember that I got to share my story with my friend, whether it's from advice from someone or religion or spirituality or meditation or thinking about your death. Wherever you can get it, perspective is such a difficult thing, but it is the most powerful. What else are we supposed to do? We have absolutely no idea why we're here. We're on a rock, spinning around. We're actually stardust, I just read recently, and we have absolutely no idea what we're doing here. So just do something fun, do something that you enjoy, and that will give you the gratitude for being alive.